tells me I'm not walking <laughs> enough. Oh, you are back watching In the Can, and joining me now is Timothy Greenfield Sanders, the filmmaker and photographer for Tony Morrison, The Pieces I Am. Sorry, we were just chit-chatting back and forth. This is what we do on live television. <laughs> Good morning. I understand that you have um, an Apple Watch I have now? my new Apple Watch, which I, can, I actually <laughs> love. It tells me to, to breathe and to get up and walk or something. I'm not used to having someone tell me that. And your interview times, obviously, as well. Exactly. <laughs> so it tells me everything. Congratulations for Toni Morrison's The Pieces I Am for, for being a part of Sundance. This is your fourth time, I understand? My fourth uh, time here as a filmmaker, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and how does that feel? I understand the premiere is going to be this afternoon. You know, Sundance is still the, the biggest deal in America in, for uh, independent filmmakers. Uh, and a goal of getting into this festival is something we all have, and we were thrilled to get in. You know. It sets your film apart. And, and says, look at this, look at this film, it's, it's good. And so tell me about that. Why is your film, your documentary, good? Toni Morrison is the greatest writer of the, of the century, you know, almost you could say the greatest artist of the last century. And, and it's such a gigantic life to, to make a film about. And I think the film is good because it shows all of her many, many lives, not just the novelist that we all know, but the editor that she was, a very, very important editor, professor at, at you know, all the Ivy League colleges, particularly at Princeton, and a um, single mother of two. You know, this is a tremendous life. What was it like getting to know Toni Morrison, right? You, you, everyone has her resume of everything that she's done, but really digging into that intimate part of her life. Well, I was very lucky because I've known Toni for 38 years next week. And Toni uh, came into my studio in 1981 with a pipe. <laughs> and I did portraits of her, and we became friends then. And I started to do portraits of her for her books. and. She really became a very important part of my life and influential on, on, on my career. Um, my film that was here two films ago, The Blacklist, was really inspired by Tony. Mm -hmm. So she's, uh, I'm lucky to have her as a, uh, you know, something strong in my life. Fantastic. She's been yeah. a major impact. Well, yeah. before we continue with questions, let's go ahead and cut to the trailer real quick yeah. and check it out. Looks good. They can hear us or no? It is my birth name, Chloe. My saint's name, Anthony. My maiden name, Wofford. People mispronounce it all the time. They said Chlo. Even my teachers. <laughs> Chlo, Clow. Or Clovis. <laughs> so I just shortened it to my saint's name. And then, of course, the married name, Morrison. It's a way of dividing your life. One of those names is the person who is out there. And the other one is the one who isn't, who doesn't do documentaries. Yeah. She has such beautiful energy on camera. It just looks like such a bright spirit. She, she does. You know, we, we did um, two different, uh, well, four, five days with Tony of, of long interviews and over a period of time. And we had this kind of conversation with her about her name. And, and we weren't sure how to really bring it into the film. And then at one point she said something like, you know, as she says here, well, there's this Tony, and then there's also the Tony that doesn't do documentaries. And the minute I heard that, I thought, oh, we've got to use that. That's just priceless, you know. And with, with your relationship with, with Tony, and then you really being able to just uncover and, and showcase someone you know, with, with her status, but her humbleness as well. What do you want the big takeaway to be with the audience after they watch the documentary, with her as a whole, and just kind of her philosophy? I, I think you will come away from the film seeing that Toni Morrison is really one of the great thinkers of our time, and that you'll understand why there's so much love for her. That, you know, as we made the film, we reached out to people, you know, would you 
do this for the film or that, and everyone was like, I am, whatever you want, I'm there. I love Toni Morrison. I worship Toni Morrison. You know, she's so important to all of us. So I think that comes through in the film. She, she's, she's very warm in the film. She's yeah. very, um, uh, you love her when you see her in the film. But she's one of the great lives and one of the great figures of our time. Mm -hmm. and, and where is this premiering? I believe we have... T today, today at 2.30 at the Mark. Excellent. And tomorrow at 6.30, I think, at the Temple. Yes, fantastic. Yeah. And then, last question, um, you know, are you happy? Am I happy? Your documentary, yes. I'm thrilled with it, yeah. Okay. I, you know, I, I wish it were 10 hours long <laughs> <laughs> because there's so much we, we couldn't put in, but I'm very happy with it. I think it's one of the best films I've made, and I've made 13 films at this point. So this is a, a, an important film for me, and I think for people to see it. Great. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Pleasure meeting you. Thank you. And we have more coming up on Park City Television.